the paper crafting formal card making was by accident with a little set of watercolours and I'm very bad at buying birthday cards so I realised I could chop my little bits of watercolour up, stick them on the card blank and people seem very happy. Oh you can't stop, once you start you can't stop. It's just too good, it's, it's, it's good for you and it's just lovely to do, just pleasure all the time. Yeah. How many? How did it feel when you suddenly couldn't watch Ochanda? Devastating. <laughs> My husband said it's going to save us a fortune. I said, no, it's not, because I found another way of watching it, and I'll still look to see what products there are anyway. And if I'm home, I'll still watch it, including at four o'clock in the morning, hot flushing it, <laughs> spare bedroom, hachanda. <laughs> and where's your poor husband? In the next bedroom. <laughs> You are you're sleeping with her chanda in the other room. I'm sleeping with her chanda in the other room if I get a hot flush. I'm out the bedroom and in there. This is the Hachanda podcast. A chance to listen in on life at Hachanda with a sneak peek behind the scenes at the UK's leading arts, hobbies and crafting channel. This week, Hachanda's dream day when we invite a group of viewers to take a tour of the studios have lunch with us, and enjoy a very special crafting session with Leonie Pujol. So what we're doing today are gel plates. So we're going to be doing um, loads of different techniques using the, the gel plates and different paints and inks and hopefully spritzers. So it's just a little play, you know, um, and, then, and then hopefully they'll go away with some Messy fingers, that's my main name, just getting really mucky. It is that kind of industry, it feels friendly, you know, and I think because because TV, we're allowed to be who we are, you know, we're not, we don't have to fake it. So it means that everybody can identify with each other. But, um, I think most of the time what you hear with crafting is how it really helps people. You know, it helps people if they've got rubbish going on at home, if life, you know, if they've got different illnesses. Because uh, it's just so, it's one of them you just relax and it's very mindful. You know, you're in your own little space. So for, for that little bit of time, you can forget everything else that's going on. And I think that more than anything is what you hear over and over and over again with crafting. I think what comes over with all the crafting and here at Achanda, it feels like a big family, you know, it feels like we're all, we're in it together, there's lots of support, there's lots of help. Um, you know, we, we can have a, a good laugh, we can take me care of each other, but it, it just feels, yeah, it feels like a really nice, um, a nice family. Leonie is uh, just setting up your, your crafting stations as we speak, so in about five or so minutes we'll make our way through the, um, through the buying floor and into our training room uh, where you'll spend most of the next sort of couple of hours um, yeah, just, just, just conducting a, a bit of a crafting session with Leonie. Um, we'll then sort of uh, do, do a, have a, an hour session of lunch um, before doing a tour and some talks uh, this afternoon. So uh, yeah, if you hold on for five or so more minutes. So many familiar faces. <laughs> um, right now then, welcome obviously to a chander. Right, are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely yeah. to see you. Lovely to see you. Thank you ever so much for coming along. I obviously love a chander. I've been working here for a few years now and it's just good fun, you know. Um, I do all, so we're going to do a little bit of gel play today. It's just playing. You know, we're just going to do some prints. There's no big deal if something goes wrong. It doesn't matter. Um, has anyone not used a gel plate before? Good. I like it when there's a few of them played. And um, so, <laughs> uh, just one. On very well. I'm learning a lot. I've gone from total mess to 
controlled mess. <laughs> so we, we, no, no, I, I think I'm doing okay. Um, I'm enjoying it, which is the main thing. It's fun. It's no, messy. I've got nothing on my trousers yet, which is always good. Ever, ever. It's also because I have got one day special tonight. I need to call and walk my dogs then prep. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been amazing. Yes. I have. I have. I've got good coffee to keep me awake. Leonie, do you mind if we have a good kiss? Of course. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Are we doing? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much, gang. It's been absolutely brilliant. I've had a right nice day. I do love these. I think they're really good fun. Um, enjoy your tour around the building. Obviously, you know, if, um, if there's some someone knocking about, you want their autograph, don't be shy. Um, and yeah, see if you can spot my crafty corner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's really obvious, it's really obvious. But thank you, thank you for taking the time to come and visit you us. Because it's nice. One of, these. of course, of course I'll sign one, yeah. Oh, if you, yeah, of course I can sign any, anything, so that's not a problem, man. Well, it'll take quite a bit to get all the tickets from one yeah. picture. Yeah, yeah. Um, does anybody want a bit of cake? I won't be cruel. <laughs> I mean, I'm part of the Yeah, as and when, um, if you'd like to help yourself to, to lunches, the only thing. It's a relief. I mean, over the last few years, I'd lost a daughter and it was quite hard time, and I was able to actually get lose myself in the craft and forget what was happening. And now, because it's um, more difficult to get out, because my mobility is not good, that it gives me something to do at home. And it, when I make things, I tend to give them to friends and family. And some things go to school, school fates, ready to sell in or give away in raffles or whatever they they're doing. If it's a canvas or something, and that. Then I had two little granddaughters, and they started. So when they come on the school holidays, we get the craft stuff out, and we get very messy in it. And they just love doing it as well, and that. I think it's really come on over the last, what, six months since, you know, some of the big companies have gone. It's nice seeing all the new little companies coming in and bringing all their new style of doing different things and that. And seeing the presenters, instead of just presenting, actually going and crafting themselves, seeing their skills that they've got in crafting and that. We all know how great Orchanda is because they're opening up to more and more smaller organisations, but yet we never see anything of that coming to Wales on a crafting day or a crafting event or even a crafting show. We're just begging you as a fantastic channel, please, please be the first to come to Wales. But it certainly gets you through everything. I mean, my husband had cancer a year, uh, was diagnosed with cancer a year and a half ago. And it was the one thing that you could actually put on that you could actually sort of... A distraction. A dis total distraction. Uh, and uh, the presenters are so pleasant. Uh, you actually feel as if you really are part of the family. So, yeah, it really got me Definitely. through it. Does your husband watch it as well? Occasionally he said that her chanda seems to be on every single television in the house. <laughs> So he goes to watch something else like cycling or motorcycling or whatever and says, damn, my chance is on this one as well, you've been in here. <laughs> but no, he likes watching, he's especially fond of Little Leone, or as we call it, Little Leone, because she couldn't say little originally and she, he said, you just want to give her a hug. <laughs> she looks so sweet. <laughs> And he's very fond of Barbara from Clarity Crafts. I think she's incredible and very inspirational. I've been crafting since I was about four, but more into um, wools. So I did crochet, knitting, sewing. Through school, I did sewing. I specialise in 
memory albums, um, which is one of the things I'd like Hot Handed to do more of, especially Stamperia or Graphic 45, because it's, it's something that's not just personal to you, it's personal to whoever you make it for, for the memories to be collected when you're gone. Hi, I'm Wendy, I'm from London, and I started off with, dare I say, creating craft, and then um, now, obviously, watch Hot Handed which offers a wider range of crafts, hobbies and arts, resources. Um, I'm getting emails all the time informing me of new um, by, um, companies joining the channel and um, the, world's, the world's my oyster, really. So thank you for inviting me. like these days because we see your eyes light up when you see certain things when you hear stuff when you see a presenter when you when you're doing some crafting with Leone and that we we see it all fresh through you it, it refreshes us to see how you guys see us and hopefully everything we've said hopefully we've answered all your questions that you wanted to know about us we're here for for that you know we don't want you guys going away going Oh, I really would have liked to have known that, but it didn't really answer me. Oh, okay, you know. So, any questions? I was worried about coming that you might disappoint me because I got the impression you were very customer focused and you cared about the customers. And genuinely, I feel I, you've not let me down. No. You are exactly what you say you are. Yeah. 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 And you, you aren't seriously. Yeah. Oh. I was worried about coming because I thought it might be a big PR thing and I'd be yeah. very disappointed. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm, my expectations are raised. Yeah. Did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a Vox Pop yeah. right there. Yeah. No, thank you. No, yeah. we appreciate that. We are... We do, come on, I'm not, I'm not making this up. I, I, I do genuinely love it when you guys... When we have these days. Um, it, to see you guys here makes it worthwhile. You know, I could be doing something very normal today. And... To you guys, it would probably be really interesting, but to me, it's a bit like every day. It's my job, I do it. But having you guys here makes the, the work that... I think it makes it real for us. Yeah. You've been listening to Her Chanda's Dream Day podcast, with special thanks to Wendy Littlechild, Brig Kirk and David Kirk, Joy and Katie Steeles, Diane Ingram, Angela Evans, Hazel Rumble... Leslie Crony, Lorraine Raquel, Dawn Jeremy, Alison Forster and Elizabeth Welsh. And a big thank you to the Hachanda team of Leonie Pajul, Joe Padbury, John Arlo, Andrew Moss, Camilla Openshaw and Hannah Perry.